Peace, welcome back to Playbook FM. I'm Jay, we're back with part 12 of my Aberdeen Football Manager 20 save. If you've missed any of the previous episodes, go back and take a look because we are about to jump back in. So, since the episode yesterday, the transfer special, not much has happened because we've literally forwarded a day. However, we have in that time confirmed the signing of, where is he? There we go, Mohamed Drager, the 24-year-old Tunisian international from, I can't remember where we bought him from, from Paderborn in the Bundesliga. Got him for less than a million pounds and reason being is because we have accepted a bid of 1.6 million for youngster Calvin Ramsey, who I was going to bring into the first team squad to play back up to Antonio Morin in the right back position. However, a bid that good for a 16 year old, 17 year old, I had to accept it. So we did need a bit more cover, uh, but that's about it in terms of updates. As you can see, had a pretty decent pre-season apart from this 1-0 loss against Peterborough. But we've through to the third qualification round of the Europa League. So we will be playing the first leg of the third round match in today's episode. But first, we have Motherwell in the league. And this is the team we're sending out against Motherwell. In goal, we have Will Norris, back four of Antonio Morin, Scott McKenna, Mikey Devlin and Richard Tate. In midfield, we have Pedro, Tommy Doyle and Dean Campbell with Marion Schwed, Conor McLennan and Ryan Brewster up front. Let's get into the match. And I need to give him a squad number, even though he's probably going to be here for all of 10 minutes. Right. Uh, we are favourites. Let's do that. And we are looking for a challenge push. A challenge push? A title uh, push this season. I think that given all the transfers we made during the summer, we are in a pretty decent position to do so. However, if we're conceding goals like that, <laughs> we're not winning anything. And what a way to start the season. 15 minutes in. Starts again from a free kick, a big ball over the top, and we're just all out of shape at the back. It allows Long in behind to score. And um yeah, not the not the league debut I wanted to see from Will Norris, unfortunately. However, in the preseason matches and the Europa League games, he has looked pretty good. So we are going to demand more from the lads. Tommy Doyle clears the clears the corner there, but Oh my word. What a way to start the season. What a way to start the season. We are going to go a bit more attacking. So the corner comes in. Tommy Dill clear. Well, it doesn't really clear it. It heads it back to the Motherwell uh, player who sends it back out to the wing. Gets crossed in again and we just don't deal with that second ball into the box. And we're now down 2-0. We are now down 2-0. And it's the first half, and we've not had a single shot on target this first half. We've just scored as I've scored. We just had a shot as I've mentioned it, but wow, what a way to start. That is shocking, and considering most of these players were here last season, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, Richard Tate. Again, it's always Richard Tate, and it, towards the end of last season, it did putting some good performances but so far we we've made him our captain as well for this season considering we have lost Joe Lewis um, nothing we could do about the Joe Lewis transfer he wanted to go to the Premier League the English Premier League they offered us 3.5 million I think it was so we just had to accept it so really and truly we we could and should have had a better goalkeeper but I mean that's just the way that that football works. And um, it was better to let him go than keeping somebody around who didn't want to be at the club. And Mario Schwed there has lost the ball. It's given Motherwell a counter, but we have broken it up. And Conor McLennan's on the ball now. Plays a big ball over the top to Brewster. Brewster's in behind. He shoots, but it's saved by the Motherwell keeper. Oh, no. Right. Let's make that change and see 
if that can spice things up a little bit and get us a goal but honestly we've not looked dangerous at all this match and Motherwell must be absolutely delighted they've gotten two quick goals from set pieces kind of and I've just held on to this two goal lead from the first half but Ryan Brewster there with a chance to get one back and hits the post and I think this is going to be the final highlight of the match We're starting again with a throw in it falls to Pedro, plays in new boy Villa, who loses the ball, wins it back. And the referee will be blowing the whistle at any minute now. I don't know why I'm so zoomed in. But Shved's on the ball, plays it back to Marin, and we play the ball out because there's a player down injured. The referee may as well just blow the whistle at this point. They are just milking it and wasting time, and I can't believe we're actually going to have to sit here and watch this highlight. Wow. Well, what a start to the season this has been. Uh, and I'm really, really disappointed with that performance. Right, let's go and play Braga. So, the starting 11 for the Braga match we have Will Norris in goal, Mohamed Draga at the right back position with Scott McKenna and Tonis Adonis in centre back positions, and Greg Lee on the left wing back position. We have Pedro, Gonzalo Villa and Tommy Doyle in midfield. We have Marion Shved, David Marusa and Ryan Brewster up front. Let's get into the match. Oh, and as you can see we a lot of players are struggling with fitness at the moment and are pretty high injury risks but in a match like this we do have to kind of take these risks and play our best players. Um, I do expect to see a much better performance tonight and I'm just going to send the assistant. And for the second second season in a row, we've had a pretty tough draw in the Europa League qualifying rounds. I mean, Wolves in that first season and then Braga. It's just, we're getting absolutely no luck in these qualification matches. And the first leg being at home, I'd, I always prefer to be away. Because obviously the pressure's on the, away, on the, the home team in these ties. Because the away goals count for double. And their, Braga score their first away goal and we are 1-0 down. What a way to start this match. So Greg Lee deals with the long ball. Adonis goes to clear it, but basically plays it back to their striker. It falls to Diaz, who beats Greg Lee and just... Sco he scores a pretty good goal, to be fair. Top corner, there's nothing that Will Norris could have done about that. So we are going to demand more from the team because... Yeah, we really... The thing is, we can't really risk conceding another away goal but we do have to push forward and get a goal back ourselves really and truly so Tommy Doyle with the free kick it doesn't beat the Braga defence they are on a bit of a counter we do have men back but uh, they've held up the wall well to be fair nobody's decided to put a tackle in until Schwed decides to take matters into his own hand and Tommy Doyle with a big ball over the top to Bruce who is in behind he shoots oh my word that should have been a goal that should have been Brewster's first goal of the season. Actually, I tell a lie, he scored quite a few in the qualific earlier qualifying rounds. But the corner comes in, it's dealt with, and Shred was caught offside. And we are going to rip into them a little bit because this is just awful. It is just awful. I'm going to change to the Tiki Taka and go attacking a hey, hey Donis, there you go, he's got a 6.1 we are going to take him off bring on Jack Hendry, I think that's the only person we can bring on really uh, there we go right let's get back into this third round qualifying match yeah third round qualify qualification match because if we do somehow manage to get past Braga we'll, we'll be playing either uh, Mal Mal, is that how you say it? The, the Scandinavian team or whoever they're playing. So we have had the fourth round draw, which I believe is the last qualification round. I don't know, somebody let me know in the comments. But we are just knocking the ball around a little bit here. Jack Hendry with the ball. Big ball over the top to Brewster. He's in behind, he shoots and he scores the equaliser. And it is 1-1 on the night. 
Brewster with his second goal of the season. So Greg Lee plays it back to Hendry, who's in loads of space, takes a couple of touches, big ball over the top as he notices Brewster making his run. Brewster just beats his marker, takes a touch and slots it home. What a goal. So I think we should offer up a bit of praise there, but we've overwhelmed a couple of the lads, which is always useful. And it is a Braga goal kick now. We've dealt with it. Pedro heads it clear. Forces McKenna. Plays it back to, to Pedro. Finds Doyle. He finds Sved to Villa. And we've lost possession of the ball. Gonzalo Villa always loses possession of the ball. He's not looking all that good so far. But Pedro dealing with the long ball over the top. We play our own long ball over the top to Brewster. Who, well, forces a save from the Braga goalkeeper. Schwed looking for Brewster from the corner. It's headed clear. Force of Doyle to Schwed. To back to Doyle. Doyle's in a crossing position. Can't get the crossing and is tackled. So we are going to drop back to balance now because attacking, I feel like it's leaving us a little bit exposed at the back. And I don't know if that's why we didn't get to see the free kick because we've gone a bit more balanced. But we are going to take off Schwed because he is looking a bit tired and bring on James Wilson as that inside forward. As we saw towards the end of last season, he was getting goals from that position, so we'll put him on over Connor McLennan. But we are going to bring on McLennan because David isn't playing well at all. And to be fair, I don't think he can actually speak English just yet. He's still on his intensive language course along with Drager, so probably shouldn't be expecting the the best of performances out of him, but we expect a bit better than that. And we have managed to claim a draw in this match and we are proud of them and I think I think yeah that does make up for that first match um, oh wow Wolves beat Cherno Morvana 9-0 um, but we're going to call it time on today's episodes if you've made it this far please leave a thumbs up and I'll catch you tomorrow peace mm -hmm.